This might get weird. Are we rolling? We're rolling. Well, then cheers, Grace Helvin. Cheers, memory heart. Y'all, we are back here together in the friggin' flesh. Oh, my God. You look different. Like you're, you're much more whole. Is it because <laughs> I look like an actual hole? Is it because my bangs are pinned back? Because I. Oh yeah, that's a, that's it a little bit. I, I forgot that you have bangs. I have bangs. They're my iconic signature look these days until they're not. Um, no, I took a shower right before you got here. And by that, I mean, I only washed my bangs. <laughs> and then I remembered that I brought my hair dryer on this vacation. And the oh. first time I used it, it died immediately oh, lovely it, it just like smoked i was scared the hotel was gonna like the alarm was gonna go off so nice. i pinned these babies back I, I didn't have time to dry them nice i mean you got back literally last, last night night yeah so how are how are you feeling i'm feeling okay i mean it was <laughs> literally the weather has not changed the entire time that you've been away so you probably feel great i feel crazy so really? like, it's been two weeks but it literally feels like uh, the same day as you left. Oh, okay, so you're having Groundhog's Day. Yeah, yeah. See, here's the thing. And uh, y'all listening, L.A., Land of Sunshine, does this weird thing that's called June Gloom. I don't like, it's not cute just because it kind of rhymes. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, but it's totally like just overcast and boring. Yeah. It's just boring. It's like Seattle weather. That's what people say. And mm. it's like... It is like uh, depressing. It's it really is depressing. depressing. It's fun for a day like today because besides the podcast, all I'm going to do is sit on the couch. Nice. And so I don't have to do that thing where it's sunny out and I yeah. crank the AC and close the curtains and pretend it's bad out. <laughs> like it's really <laughs> ideal for that. And also like I'll be back on the picket line this week. So mm. it's really nice to not get sunburnt. That is. Su- How does it feel to say that phrase? Because <laughs> that's it. like an embodiment of a totally different persona I, oh, than me normally but, no with the shirt that you're oh, dressed in sorry, i'm in a with, wrestlemania jersey and with your hair pulled back it looks like you've been hard at work all week and you gotta get back <laughs> to the picket line i do i currently look like a steel worker yeah, like, <laughs> in when Pittsburgh. You say i gotta get back on the picket line this week <laughs> Baby, we gotta we gotta get that capitalism down. Um, no, but that helps to not get sunburnt because I think I told you mm-hmm. when that first week we did that boat day, yeah, in Greece, I got the weirdest burn, <laughs> and like I haven't had a sunburn where I peel. Oh yeah, yeah. Two things: one, it's really gross; two, it's kind of fun. <laughs> it is, yeah. <laughs> it's a little weird, but also crazy that our bodies just do that. Yeah, that they goes, just molt. This skin, we can't use this one. They said, you really fuck this one up. <laughs> no, it's totally like when I was little, I used to put glue on my hand and then peel it off. Were you a glue girl? Um, Not like that. I don't remember. Uh, were you um, a candle tip? Yeah, a little Can- bit. I mean fingertip in yeah. the candle like i had the most uh the softest yeah. supplest <laughs> fingertips around <laughs> i thought they were beautiful i would like just sit there dip my tips yeah in the candle wait for the dry peel them off and then i'd be like this is potpourri you <laughs> you've, you were always meant to be at a spa always meant to be at a spa but so anyway i got a weird sunburn so i'm kind mm. of happy for this gloom right now if i'm okay. gonna be out in the elements well welcome back it Thank is the, you. it looks the same outside when you wake up as right before you go to sleep <laughs> it's perfect no i got in last night at like 11 but mm. technically in Rome, that was like 7 a.m., which means I, yeah. I traveled for 24 hours. It's insane. I know. Every time I tried to communicate with you over the last oh, week. Sorry. No, no, no. You would think that just a 10-hour time difference, easy to figure out. It's really not. I could not. <laughs> every time I was like, do I text her? No, I won't text her now because it's like 3 a.m. her time. But it mm-hmm. would take me so long to figure out what day what time you were experiencing oh absolutely which is why you guys are getting this podcast a little late because we were going to record i was flying all day on tuesday and mm-hmm. so we were going to record on monday and by the time it just got to be it was going to be 5 30 for you me yeah 8 in the 8 30 in the morning for you and i was just like i can't do it yeah i'm just like so spent after 14 days of travel and again i'm not complaining because it was fucking awesome <laughs> but i was just like i can't yeah. compute anything besides saying spaghetti please <laughs> Like a little kid. <laughs> spaghetti. I'll take the spaghetti. Uh, oh, man. Well, here we are. Yeah. I Can I ask my one burning question, oh which my you God. probably have on your notes, and you're probably going to talk about it. Okay. But the thing I've been thinking about since you posted it, you were you got found in a uh, at the spa in the okay, sauna. Okay, okay. Here <laughs> we go. Okay, let me just. 
This is on the Instagram story. This, I was like, I, this is, I can't not think about what this story is. Okay. Well, I'll just tell you the last week or so, or like five days has been Rome. So we went from Greece to Rome. We left right. the wellness resort. Granted, after <laughs> we tied it on one more time. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So you came in like a couple Kool-Aid men we just like barreling through. It was insane. And when I tell you like this wellness resort or like... I think that's how they describe themselves. Like you come in and I think I told you like all the employees are wearing like basically silk pajamas. Like they look like, did you ever see nine perfect strangers? The Nicole Kidman show? No. Okay. It was, it was a resort like that, but it basically feels like, is this, am I coming to get healthier or am I joining a cult? Right. 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 Yeah. Fine line. Fine line. So we came in fucking hot. (laughs) You said, we're not going to be part of your cult. No, Watch this. <laughs> no, don't give me a smoothie unless there's two shots of tequila in it. Um, and then the next day when we recorded, I was so hungover. Yeah. All we did is we went into town, got dinner, which was so funny. We were all like, I need a break from Greek, Greek food. <laughs> so we found a Vietnamese place called okay. Scent. Great. Which is just a hilarious Scent. <laughs> restaurant i love it s-c-e-n-t be like what about taste nope nope just the scent nope it's gonna smell great we just sniffing yep. pad thai over here <laughs> um so anyway we get dropped off by a cab driver and he's like very confused and he's like here and we're like yes and he's like okay after you're done keep going like 50 yards there's the town square we were like sure 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 buddy <laughs> so we we get the food and then we walk 50 yards and it's the it was like Greece Epcot. Really? It's the cutest. It was the cutest downtown I've ever seen. Everything is just, um, I don't know, like cobblestone with white paint in between. Cute. Every building is white. And there's like cats because they do the thing I love where they just feed the stray cats oh, yeah. to keep like mice away. Okay. Every single bar is adorable. And we're like, that cab driver must have been like, these fucking Americans <laughs> chose scent. <laughs> Yeah, you guys are like, whatever, buddy. Uh, I think we know how to travel. And then we called him again to pick us up, like after we walked through the downtown. Yeah. And we he brings us back to the rooster and we're like he's like, okay. And we're like, oh, we're definitely going back down there tomorrow. Like yeah. it was so cute. And he looked so confused and he's he left and we were like, he thinks we mean scent. <laughs> these girls he's like these girls came what? to this beautiful tiny island in greece to eat at scent the vietnamese restaurant two it's, nights in a row it's like someone goes to new york city and just goes to coyote ugly bar yes. like again and again or just like yeah exactly or like a place called new york new york diner in times square <laughs> twice like it it made zero sense but oh poor guy anyway so that was i didn't even drink that day like, wow. Actually, I had one cocktail at dinner, but that was just to even me out. <laughs> uh, Jacqueline didn't drink. Delia just had one drink. And we yeah. went back. We were in bed at nine. Nice. We were like, we're done here. Yep. Um, the next day we're chilling. We go back down. We go back to that downtown and have like a lovely like shopping lunch day and go to the beach. And, and then we decide, oh, we were doing like a private dinner. Oh, nice. So Jacqueline set it up that... Uh, a, like beside this this um the rooster has their own farm mm-hmm. so they do like farm to table so cool. you could go and like see the farm we were going to do a wine tasting cool and then it was going to go into well, we stay on the farm and they like prepare us a dinner wow i know i'm telling you i'm cosplaying a woman i mean this is literally yeah like i feel like katherine heigl starred in this movie <laughs> like in the early aughts i know i'm like Jack johnson is my life coach but i love that you guys from what i hear of the trip like the focus is literally food Food. good drink and a little bit of ambiance like you're not trying to get history you are not trying to go sight (laughs) see no we didn't we we didn't need any of that i was in rome for five days and didn't see the coliseum (laughs) (laughs) we walk past the pantheon and at the same time jack and i go that's cute and we were like that's cute about the pantheon you guys have become the characters that you started playing uh, as a parody in the beginning of this trip it was full romeo michelle by the end but so anyway we before we went to that dinner we were like oh well let's go take some you know pretty pictures and Mm -hmm. i was like jacqueline I was like, we have to go say hi to the bar. We like, we like shut it down. Like I overtook it. (laughs) So you hadn't been back. We hadn't been back. Right. Because we were so hungover the next day. And then we went into town. We show up and the bartenders are just like, what happened to you? (laughs) (laughs) They thought you were dead. They were like, last night you were like, we'll be back tomorrow, bitches. (laughs) Like whatever. 
<laughs> they were like, are you okay? We're like, yeah, it was a rough day. It was a rough day. So we have a drink. We go to this dinner. It is gorgeous. Mm-hmm. You know, we have, it's so fun. We were doing the wine tasting and the person leading it, who was like the sweetest guy. And like, we met his girlfriend. She works at the, at the resort too. Yeah. He's doing the wine with us and we pick up like, we're tasting one white wine and we're giving the notes and whatever. And Jacqueline's like, and I get like a little banana. And he was like, banana. And she was like, yeah. And whatever. And so then I was like, by the way, we're, um, level three, some W set. And he was like, Oh really? And then we were like, well, we're, and, and he was like, I don't get banana. And then we, I was like, well, technically we're taking level three in July. He goes, Oh, so you're not level three. You're level two. I'm level three. There's no banana. <laughs> so we were like, Oh damn. So we like had this great rapport. We're having him sneak drinks on the side even uh-huh. though he like has to go work at the restaurant later <laughs> and then all hell broke loose Uh oh then we asked for the ipad with the music <laughs> grace big ask big ask grace when i tell you uh-huh. we were putting on the dirtiest southern rap <laughs> Like we were throwing it down to the point where like the woman, Maria, Marina, who ran the place. So it's just you three. It's us three and like four employees. Okay. Okay. And Marina's like this older woman who runs the farm and uh-huh. she comes out. She's like, is everything okay? And I was like, did you know she's getting divorced? I was like, this is, this is basically like the divorce moon. And she's like, this is, you guys have switched from her being like, did you know she's a New York Times bestseller? And I was like, did you know she's divorced? I needed to like preface why we were going so ham. Yeah. And so she was like, oh really? So she, Marina was dancing with us amazing like i was uh, at one point i took my dress and just put it over jacqueline (laughs) like like, and then like everyone's coming out like are you guys okay like we fully had a dance party and then went back and re-shut down the bar amazing by the time we left the next day and like embarrassing I mean, we still got up. Jacqueline and I still got up and went to the gym. Like we Good were all, all uh, what is it? That, Cylinders firing. She is, she is a, you know, work hard, play hard kind of gal. She really is. And yeah. this is the most I've seen her play. <laughs> Amazing. It's been built up for years. I mean, Delia, <laughs> who has been like her best friend for 15 years. Yeah. After the first night goes, I've never seen Jacqueline <laughs> have that many cocktails. And I go, you've never seen Jacqueline hang out with me. <laughs> Oh, total devil on the shoulder. Um, but no, it was all great. And as we were leaving, literally the staff was like, we have never had guests as fun as you. We are going to miss you. Oh my God. You guys created like a mythology for yes. yourselves on this island now. Like your lore will be told right. to guests from here on right? out. Right? Because well, they're truly, it's like, you know, it's couples who come. Right. And then probably all the pools are connected to the the little casitas there isn't like a communal pool okay so like in retrospect like you're gonna like stay and hang out in your little house yeah yeah. like have some wine like no one was at the bar except us so wow so much fun Uh, you set your legacy up there we really did you guys gotta go back in like five years and just see who's there and see who remembers you oh my god (laughs) there'll be like a mural of like what they think we look like (laughs) of what you guys look like at your peak wasted (laughs) <laughs> oh my god so ridiculous now that summer is here you might be looking for wholesome convenient meals for sunny active days factor america's number one ready to eat meal kit can help you fuel up fast with flavorful and nutritious ready to eat meals delivered straight to your door you'll save time eat well and stay on track reaching your goals if you're too busy with summer plans to cook but want to make sure you're eating well with factor you skip the trip to the grocery store you skip the chopping the prepping the cleaning up too while still getting the flavor and nutritional quality you need factors fresh never frozen meals are ready in just two minutes so all you have to do is heat it up and enjoy and then you go back outside you enjoy the warm weather if you're looking for calorie conscious options this summer you can try their dietitian approved calorie smart meals with around or less than 550 calories per serving if you need an extra boost to support your wellness goals try protein plus meals with 30 grams of protein or more per serving elevate eating at home with their new upscale surf and turf and surf and surf meal options like roasted garlic filet mignon and shrimp and cajun spice shrimp and salmon ooh 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 they also offer delicious flavor pack options on the menu each week to fit a variety of lifestyles they have keto to calorie smart vegan and veggie and protein plus prepared by chefs and approved by dietitians each meal has all of the ingredients you need to feel satisfied 
all day long. You can choose from 34 plus chef prepared, dietitian approved weekly options featuring premium ingredients such as ooh, broccolini, leeks, truffle butter, and asparagus. Ooh la la. And if you want to budget this month by cutting back on takeout, get Factor. Not only is Factor cheaper than takeout, but meals are ready faster in just two minutes. With Factor, you can rest assured that you're making a sustainable choice. They offset 100% of their delivery emissions to your door, source 100% renewable electricity for their production sites and offices, and feature sustainably sourced seafood in their meals. And this June, get Factor and enjoy eating well without the hassle. Simply choose your meals and enjoy fresh flavor-packed meals delivered right to your door, ready in just two minutes. No prep, no mess. Head to factormeals.com slash TMGW. 50 and use code TMGW50 to get 50% off your first box. That's code TMGW50 at factormeals.com slash TMGW50 to get 50% off your first box. But so amazing. The next day, uh, Delia was leaving and Jacqueline and I were headed to Rome. Mm -hmm. Um, And so we take our flights, you know, it's like, the craziest little tiny airline it's right, just right. Ugh, it's so it's so <laughs> scary and also annoying and of course we land in rome we wait we wait we wait Jacqueline's luggage is lost <gasps> oh no i mean with everything she had uh, like one big bag shit right shit 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 shit, so, shit, shit. shit, 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 shit. she's like a luxury traveler i feel like she's got nice things she has nice <laughs> things yeah. exactly well, I, was like, I was like if my bag gets lost i'm gonna have to probably pay a fee for losing all this rented <laughs> yeah. everyone keeps commenting you look great i'm like i own none of this right 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 uh rental services are your new best friend as an adult woman who travels and takes yes. instagram photos thank you because i i wouldn't wear that shit in real life no that was again that's me playing the part playing of the a part. person on a fancy vacation exactly you know but um, jacqueline who like owns some of this stuff <laughs> yeah she's like um i legitimately like need my things back yeah. they're not gonna reimburse me for that much and she was also like these are just my clothes i wear every day right so right. I, i'm gonna go back so that was very stressful and of course we were they said we'll text you if we find it mm-hmm. you know after the first night nothing oh damn, damn i know damn, it was damn. crazy and, that. and then the next day we get up and we're like i'm like well, let's try to you know enjoy ourselves <laughs> remember and we're having fun we're, we're having fun it's gonna be okay and then we walked 20,000 steps a day while we were there. Fun. My feet are bloody stumps. <laughs> you walked 20,000 steps. You didn't see the Coliseum. No, not once. Okay. It was on the other side. <laughs> we saw the other stuff. We saw the, uh, I saw the Spanish steps. I, you know, I saw the oh. um, tre- Trevi, Trevi, Trevi Fountain. Trevi Fountain, yeah. We saw some stuff, but yeah. <laughs> Miss, I, miss the collie. Yeah, I mean, you guys have picked the way you travel, and I'm a big fan. I don't call a see <laughs> um, But so we were walking like 20,000 steps, and we finally stopped and had a drink, and she got the call that was like, <gasps> we found your luggage. Amazing. So we were so excited, and then um, we had dinner reservations, and they said it would be delivered between 5 and 7, so we were doing the thing of like, hey. Yeah. And she got like a random WhatsApp number to communicate with the driver. <laughs> Fun. Nothing, <laughs> nothing, nothing. Grace, when I tell you we got back home, uh-huh. like... A, you know like a million cocktails later because yeah. we were like i guess the luggage is gone forever yeah. motherfucker calls it 12 30 past midnight and is like i have your luggage we're staying in an airbnb i'm not kidding you 200 steps to get to the, to the street oh my god we get up there he basically like throws it at us Jesus. okay jacqueline is all jacked up because of the <laughs> adrenaline she's carrying the suitcase is so heavy she's carrying it by herself down all these steps i said you look like that kid who used to go on talk shows called little schwarzenegger <laughs> Do you know the world's strongest boy? No, I Tiny don't. Tarzan? Uh, Google Tiny Tarzan. Okay. There was see. this kid that like was like six years old and fully had an eight pack and he used to go on like, oh, oh no, my God. no, not that, not okay. that, not that, not that, not that. <laughs> not that. Wait, this oh, that, kid? that kid. <laughs> I was like, you look Wait, like. what is this? The world's strongest boy. Okay. Okay. So anyway, we got it back and then this driver uh-huh has the audacity the next day to just whatsapp her and go where's the tip oh damn oh damn we were like oh no we're scared oh damn we think it might be some type of like racket like some type of like mafia racket what is the the getting your luggage back because i was like oh that they take it on purpose or maybe hmm. or something i'm not sure but like i was just surprised because i was like for him to like show up 
seven hours late yeah when we could have been asleep and then ask for tips the next day and be Wait, kind of rude. Wait, this is someone that the airline sent? Random. It wasn't an airline employee. It's okay. like they outsource it. Yeah. I was shocked. I was like, Jack, I'm surprised we didn't go up there and they were like, give me 250 euros right. if you want your bag. It's in the van. <laughs> in hindsight, that's an extremely sketchy situation. Isn't it? <laughs> I mean, it was like a random van. It wasn't from the airline. You guys have been drinking all night. At 1230, oh. you go to a dark car to get a bag. Yeah. Thank you. We could have been kidnapped. Yeah, that's to- pretty wild. You guys really lucked out a lot on this trip. Well, luckily I had the world's strongest boy with me. <laughs> <laughs> Just crazy. <laughs> she is. Yeah, she's so petite. She's so petite. She's been working out. <laughs> so I'm just like, this is wild to watch. I was like, you're like an ant. Huh, well, just <laughs> well, you just survive a potential threatening situation. Yeah. Yeah. You can do anything. The adrenaline kicks in. So okay, that's all to say. Uh huh. The next day we had a spa day. Nice. And because we were like, you've earned it at this point. You no, know, you just you, maybe you, not. You, but... che- you cheated death the night before. You cheated death probably yes. many different nights in Greece. <laughs> or actually, this I think this was our third day there. Okay. Um, but like like I said, I was walking way more than I normally do. Yeah. You know, and we and my body was in bad shape. Also, just <laughs> sleeping on like random beds and yeah. flying, and I was just like cricked out. Mm-hmm. Um, and then even when I got the massage in Greece, I was like. This is not good. I am on fire. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. These towels are crunchy. I am on fire. Your body's been through it. Yeah. So we, uh, Jacqueline found this awesome spa, like in a brand new hotel that looked very like, I, I don't know, again, like uh, modern, but like kind of hippy dippy. Okay. You know, it's one of those places where you walk in and they're like, we're doing a sound bath at five. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like spiritual wellness yeah. at the same time. Like yeah. one of the activities you could have done was an apothecary class where they Damn. teach you how to like make tinctures. Whoa. Which I almost did. Yeah, that sounds actually pretty cool. It sounds great. I think we should do that, but I think <laughs> yeah. we should find it in Los Angeles. Yeah. I was like, I don't know if I spend my afternoon making learning tinctures. tinctures. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. my tinctures my tinctures uh, which is a, such a great word it is a really fun word mm. i feel like medieval harry potter yeah <laughs> well you use tinctures for weed for drinks weed. and I, I love them my, they are like my precious <laughs> little tinctures. you're a little tincture girl um that'd be a cute name for a tiny dog come on tincture that's a great name for a tiny right? dog. little tank yeah so anyway we get to this spa and this new hotel mm-hmm. and it's it's gorgeous. And of course, Jack is already like taking, you know, beautiful photos because it was just, you know, it was dream furniture. Yeah. Like yeah, modern, yeah. cool, 70s Italian. Every oh, floor cool. is terrazzo and like Damn. cool geometric uh, marble. Yeah. Like, you know, it was. You're salivating. It yeah. was Arc Digest porn. Nice. So nice. We sit down. I will say one thing about Italy. Everything is delicious. But it takes a while to get anything. <laughs> right? Okay. Everyone is friendly. What do you mean by that? I just mean. Name names. <laughs> I, just, I just mean, as someone who isn't known for patience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The They're, service, everyone is very kind, but like. More we, relaxed. We sat down to get a coffee before this. Yeah. And it took 35 minutes. Damn. Like, we got there an hour early because we were like, let's get a little breakfast before this. I'm sure yeah. it'll be great. They were like, you just missed it by 10 minutes. We were like, oh, OK, well, we'll just grab a couple of coffees. And like Jacqueline got a smoothie. Yeah. And we're sitting there 30 minutes later and we just walked 15,000 <laughs> steps. And I'm like, I'm so thirsty. I just picture you like the Judge Judy gif yeah, that's yeah. just her slamming her watch and slamming the table. Right. And I'm just like, I'm not at all like. I'm not giving impatience, but right. I'm, I'm just sitting there like, oh, God. So then Jacqueline sees like a juice. Like one of those pour uh-huh. your own juices from they haven't broken down like the breakfast yet. Okay. And Jacqueline's like, I gotta go. So she like scurries over there, grabs what looks like a beautiful like orange juice kind uh-huh. of thing, comes back, takes a big swig. It's apple cider vinegar. Oh, fuck. <laughs> so she just like, which is fine when you take a little yeah. sipsy. And but when you know you're that. about to. Yeah. That's vinegar. It was apple cider vinegar, like cayenne. Like it was clearly like a canister like from a when people drink. order like a shot. Yeah. And Jacqueline goes, oh, not on juice. <laughs> it's not on juice. <laughs> we're like, we're falling apart. We're falling apart. <laughs> Like, that's the last thing you want a big swig of when you're thirsty. Oh, God. <laughs> so violent on your mouth. She oh. was like, take a sip of this. I was like, well, what is it? And I was like, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Cartoon character. I was like, I feel like Chip is here because Chip, for some reason, 
I always say it's like in my big fat Greek wedding, how the grandpa's always like, just put some Windex on it. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. She will always be like, just take a shot of apple cider vinegar. I'm like, yeah. for every ailment I've ever had. That's what my mom says. Really? <laughs> yeah, my mom's the same thing. <laughs> She's just like, you can take a little sip of apple cider vinegar. <laughs> what is the deal? And it's like, it's supposed to be a cure-all for like your stomach, for your skin, for everything. But I like, when I think of, because he'll say it when I get heartburn and I'm like, sounds like it'll make it worse. Yeah. Or like, my stomach's upset. I'm like, sounds like it'll make it worse. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> yeah, Tim and I joke about how our mom's going to send us apple cider vinegar if we tell her that something's going wrong. That is so <laughs> funny. But so anyway, we finally get a weird coffee. Yeah. We down them. We go down to the spa and it's, as expected, beautiful. It's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, in a brand new hotel. It's like three stories tall. Everything is fab. Cool. Um, We're led, you know, to the dressing room to put on our robes and we have our little cubbies and of course she's like and here's like disposable underwear for the massage if you want okay. them and you know it leaves and like everyone my other question too is like everyone's speaking english pretty well yeah, everyone's speaking english okay. um and so we do that i'm like are you gonna wear the paper and she's like no they just do that because like americans are prude you know and i'm like i get it yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> we've been breaking the mold this whole trip we're not gonna start now do you remember when i got a massage in Asheville from my Oh, my God, Presley. And I forgot that I didn't wear underwear that day, but had on like biker shorts. And then I was like, <laughs> just pulled them up into a wedgie. <laughs> I think Presley was like, oh, she's very, she's, she really doesn't want me to touch her. <laughs> I've never seen this before. Because I was at a spot where they were like, please leave on your panties. And I was like, <laughs> and I just hiked up these spandex shorts to look like under. <laughs> well, this is the new one. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> like, I get the message loud and clear. Like, but I'm not going to touch you too close. <laughs> you seem like this is uncomfortable <laughs> yeah, for you. <laughs> right? And plus, it was my second massage with him. So he was probably like, I guess I got too close last time. <laughs> this is my fault. <laughs> yeah, this is a course correct. Noted. <laughs> this was the solution. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Full shorts pulled into a wedgie. <laughs> so, oh, that image is just so yeah, funny. It's so unflattering. <laughs> so like I rolled it, I rolled the top because you know they were highways. I rolled them down as much as possible. It's like, I hiked those. It's up. like traumatizing to think about. Yes. <laughs> so we get there. We're in our robes. We go to the little uh, waiting room, and there's like you know little like glass jars of like walnuts, apricots, th yeah. you know like little things. And the apothecaries, the tinctures. I know. So there's thing. all these little like you know like little noshes, and they had said to us like, and this is for after the massage for you okay. to come and relax, and we're both just like. So we like, we are like sneaking back and forth, getting nuts like we are squirrels before winter. <laughs> just, I'm just like going crazy on some dried banana chips. Just like it's wild. So uh, a woman comes and grabs us uh, to bring us downstairs because mm -hmm. basically what it was is we each bought a massage and a, and a like a called express facial, like a little like 20 minute facial. Oh, nice. But included in their facilities is they have the roman baths which is like was the meeting place back yeah. in ancient ancient rome nailed it uh thank you so much um which is like a process where they took us down and uh, so, so hippy dippy it's uh -huh. like there's this woman in like this like turban thing and she we go down and she's like and if you have time i do wellness checks where i can tell you like what your body's lacking like it got uh -oh. a, it got a wellness little check has a different yeah, I know. Meaning over oh, no, sorry. <laughs> wellness screening. Wellness oh, screening. Okay. But it was one of those things where I was like, the last thing I want on vacation is you to tell me what I should be eating. <laughs> I, I mean, <laughs> you you kind of, I'm curious if you call her out on that uh, to see if she could tell what you've been up to for the last right? like, I know. week before you got there. But no, I was definitely like, this is feeling a little too, what's the test that Scientologists would do? Stress so, test. It felt a little yeah. like, oh, what am I going to be hooked up to? And like, it was just, <laughs> I anyway. Love, I do love the theme that every place you guys go to, you are a little worried it might be a cult. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because it truly felt like it. Like we walked through a room and there was like, you know, sensors they hook you up to for a wellness screening we were like Damn. just rub our bodies yeah, yeah booty bo sounds funny but having it 
not so much. That's why I'm excited to tell you about Lumi, the world's best whole body deodorant. It's clinically proven to control odor everywhere, pits, privates, and beyond for a whopping, listen to this, 72 hours. Honey, you could go on a three-day trip and still come back smelling nice. As an OBGYN, Lumi's founder, Dr. Shannon Klingman, met thousands of women concerned with the odor below the belt. Through clinical testing, she discovered it wasn't the vagina to blame, it's bacteria on the skin, baby. So she created Lumi, a pH-optimized aluminum-free deodorant that actually works and works everywhere. And with over 150,000 five-star reviews to prove it. So here's a special offer for you guys. New customers are gonna get $5 off Lumi starter pack with code TMGW at Lumi Deodorant. You guys, you wanna give this a shot. It's summer, it's sweltering. I brought my unscented Lumi whole body deodorant on this trip with me because as you've heard, all I did was walk and sweat and baby, it helped. Okay, I would have been kicked out of Italy without this. I absolutely love this product. Grace and I said forever, we were like, we wish we had a drip, dry shampoo for our body. Well, this is the closest thing that has come close. It's the first of its kind. It's safe anywhere on your body. Pits, under boobs, thigh folds, belly buttons, butt cracks, vulvas, and feet. And unlike some deodorants that try to mask odor with a fragrance, Lumi is formulated and powered by mandelic acid to stop odor before it even starts. Okay, consider it a pre odorant. Aluminum free, baking soda free, and paraben free. Lumi starter pack is perfect for new customers. It comes with a solid stick deodorant, cream tube deodorant, two free products of your choice, like a mini body wash and deodorant wipes, and free shipping. So give it a try. For you listeners, new customers get $5 off a Lumi starter pack with code TMGW at lumideodorant.com. That equates to over 40% off your starter pack when you visit lumideodorant.com, L-U-M-E deodorant.com, and use code TMGW. Um, so anyway, we were led down these like gorgeous marble stairs, of course, and into these baths and mm. it's totally empty. And she's like, this is like, you know, uh, what they used to do. So what you'll do is you'll shower and then you'll um, steam room and then you go into like one bath that's kind of warm okay. and you go into one that's like hotter yeah. and then you go over here and they fully had like a sink with a with a huge faucet on it but it was just spitting out crushed ice whoa and and then you're supposed to like once you get out of the heat or no you go into the steam room once you get out of that or the sauna you like rub crushed ice on your chest it's like you know okay. the whole like it's an hot obstacle to, course of wellness yes it's yeah. the whole hot to cool you know yeah. like shock your body kind of thing i've done something like that in mexico but it was like very silly yes all, all years and years ago yeah uh, we did something <clears> like that in mexico me and jacqueline too yeah. last year where it was like now get in these jets yeah. now get in then this now, now, now your, cold plunge yeah now, yeah but so we were like oh, okay that's great and she was like so i'll leave you here mm -hmm. for an hour and then um we'll come up and we'll do the massage we're like perfect so so she just describes this whole thing leaves you by yourselves yeah. you can do it or not do it um, or well, she's so assuming that you're they, gonna do it when you're booking it they're like and would you like to do oh okay got the it. roman baths before your treatment right got it, got it. so we had brought bathing suits just in case right but then like nothing was said and we were there and then it, we were like i guess we get this place to ourselves. like this yeah, is amazing yeah. right so we disrobe, we, uh, we disregard the process and just immediately get in the hot bath. <laughs> <laughs> we were like, what the fuck? I know I'm not going to go. <laughs> Spends 45 minutes explaining yeah. every bath. You guys go to the hot tub. We're like, yeah, what, what the hell? I was like, I'm not getting in the lukewarm water. <laughs> like, no, thank you. So we get in the bath. We're floating. I'm like, oh, this is so nice, et cetera. Like Jacqueline's taking thirst traps. Yeah. Like, you know, like just out of shot. Like get we're it. like, this is so funny. And then, and then I look at her and I go, huh? And I go, she's like, what? I go, I just remembered something from the brochure you sent me. And which was like a cute little brochure with like drawings of people in, in okay. ancient Rome and baths and whatever. And I go, they said the Romans would do this all nude. And then in parentheses, which is not a tradition, will continue. And I go. So you remember the joke from the brochure? The joke from, like instantly. And I go, surely not. I was like, uh, uh, Roman bath. we're here by ourselves. Like we're in Europe. Yeah. And and she was like, I, I, are we are we supposed to be naked right now? And I was like. <laughs> I was like, surely that's like it. It's optional. Like the same way, like yeah. the, the like, you know, little paper underwear, like, you know, they don't want people to come and think they have to be exposed. And that way they don't like, you know, yeah. they don't book this. And then I go, but just to be safe, I'm going to swim to the other side of this bath 
where there are towels near. Yeah. Right? She's like, okay. So we're chilling. We're floating. And then we hear footsteps. Oh, no. Coming down the stairs for another tour. And me and Jacqueline go, oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> we are fully butt ass naked. <laughs> <laughs> nothing to put on i throw her a towel i grab one i'm like unraveling it so fast half of it's in the pool right it's soaking wet we we put it together they're coming they're coming and we run into the steam room oh my god and we're like oh my god oh my god okay moment of truth moment of truth we hear the tour happening and then we see a mother and daughter in bathing suits <gasps> we're like oh my god we're not supposed to be naked. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? <laughs> Wait, you're in your towels, though. We're in our towels, but we're still like, we are in a spa for an hour if you, with nothing to put on. If you yeah. had not remembered the one sort of quip that was in the brochure before... <laughs> You would have had a mother and daughter yes. sneak up on you guys butt, butt naked, ass naked taking photos. <laughs> we literally were like disregarding the intricate yeah. and preserved system. Right. We were wanted. like, did we just taint this whole Roman bath? <laughs> we were like, Do they have to figure out the pH again? <laughs> and we're like, now that we mention it, it's probably got cameras down here. <laughs> Jesus, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we're like, so has everyone just been watching us? I mean, I'm crab walking. <laughs> I'm crab walking through the baths just to get some exercise. Jacqueline's, Wait, that Jacqueline's taking you're, photos. I'm crab walking. You're crab walking <laughs> as a form of exercise? Just like floating. You know, like it's a shallow bath. Oh. So you can't really like swim. So I'm just like crab walking around. <laughs> I thought you were. <laughs> not in a tub no, just no, on the no, surface no i'm not a haunted girl <laughs> so, so so we're in the steam room we're like fuck 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 so as soon as they get the you know the play-by-play and yeah. they're actually going to do it correctly the mom and daughter are showering and we're like run to the nap area run so, <laughs> so we, this is a movie we had an area with just like you know the relaxation room whatever mm -hmm. so we sit there and we're like what are we gonna do yeah what are we gonna do then we hear more people coming down and it's a man Oh gosh! In his swimsuit. Oh gosh! <laughs> and then you <laughs> so wait. So you're still in towels? We're still in towels. We're still <sighs> totally naked. And so, uh, like, right? She gives him the tour, uh -huh. and I hear her say, like, and um, because they were in robes, we like, yeah. and so then if you want to disrobe and uh, with your swimsuit and get, they never said swimsuit to us. Okay, so they right? set you up. They set us up, <laughs> and so as soon as I hear her start to leave, I just run up to her and I go, "I'm sorry, can we go back to the relaxation room? I forgot I have a call to make." <laughs> said it just like that i did <laughs> that it was for best actress oh, I was like, oh it is the woman that was <laughs> crab walking <laughs> suddenly have a business to tend to <laughs> okay <laughs> yes ma'am please and, and the bottom half of my towel is completely <laughs> soaked like i just went to go tie-dye a garment <laughs> thank you put it on fell halfway into the pool and got out yeah yes ma'am let me take you to your business call so, so we get our robes. We go back to the relaxation room. We're eating more nuts. Yeah. We're going crazy. <laughs> and then we're just sitting there cry laughing like, what Whoa. have we done? What have we done? Oh, my God. But after that, it was nice. They brought us into a couple's massage room. <laughs> You guys did this to yourselves. They said, look at these two. Naked uh, lovebirds. Naked. They're so comfortable around each other. <laughs> this one's taking photos. That one's walking on her hands and feet. Different than how normal people walk. <laughs> <laughs> this is modern love. Oh, God. <laughs> so we so we, uh, we go in there and we're just trying to keep it together. I'm just like, Jack looks at me, she goes, dare fucking start laughing and i'm like dying and then uh -huh. we get on and of course it's like you know we're yeah. gonna start with what what's the bowl the singing with tibetan uh, singing bowls yeah. and, and oh my oh. god i of course have to be like on the facial nothing at the eyelashes <laughs> <laughs> nothing nothing on the eyelashes she's like makeup i was like no they're extension like i just won't shut up so we get it all 
oh my god it's it's feeling wonderful uh, and then my stomach realizes i just ate so many nuts oh no oh it's no so loud uh and it, like which was fine except at one point like it's the, just gurgling making noises like, crazy though oh, okay like whales whales are talking <laughs> <laughs> Wheels are talking. <laughs> so then at one point, like the playlist stops. Yeah. And so it's just dead silent. Oh, I hate that. No, to the point where it finally finished and it was wonderful. And uh, then I said to Jen, I was like, did you hear my stomach? She was like, that was what I was hearing. <laughs> I was like, so uh, crazy. So anyway, what, <laughs> so then we, we left. We're cracking up. You yeah. know, we're also just like covered in oil. <laughs> but but we just wanted to get out of there and jack was like it'll be good for my skin i was like i'm gonna fry <laughs> like a sunny side up egg we walk more we stop we have cocktails and then we're back in this little neighborhood travestere uh-huh. where like we were staying which is like the very cute like iconic rome like okay. cobblestone streets everything's tiny everything is just like restaurant 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 yeah. restaurant like so cute we go back there and we're like, oh, it's about to rain. Sure. So we tuck into like a little cafe that has umbrellas mm-hmm. and we're sitting there and like everyone realizes it's about to rain. So everyone kind of smushes together. Yeah. And we're like, oh, fuck. So we have like a million <laughs> glasses of wine beside us. Beside us is like two, I think, Dutch women. Okay. And they're like just like listening to us. And then on the other side sits identical twin girls. OK. Both with black hair. The same exact glasses. They were probably like 17. Okay. Scowls on their face. <laughs> they both had half updos, black dresses. And I said, it's Monday Adams. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, it was like, they were so mad. They were split. It was just the two of them Just together? the two of them. Like you could tell they were like just sitting out the rain. <laughs> and they were mad. They split one Coca-Cola. Okay. And I was just like, these, this is crazy. Like I was wow. like me and Jacqueline were giving eyes back and forth about these twins so much <laughs> that the Dutch woman looked at me and went, mm-hmm. <laughs> The Dutch women are listening to you listening to these girls. Right? So then at one point, the the server is trying to get past to like drop off water to the Dutch women. Yeah. He knocks over our big bottle of water, which tips over and goes all <laughs> over their phones. They stand up. They're like, no. I mean, they are going wild. And we're like, and it wasn't our fault. It wasn't our fault. It's our water, but it's not our fault. And it's exaggerated because it's two of the same looking yes. person. So it seems uh, twice as intense. It was crazy. I snuckily took a quick video of them, which I will put on Patreon. Uh, so, but anyway, so we're like, this is so crazy. But it's still raining. It's still doing its thing. So Jack and I. We're sitting there and now we're on like our fourth glass of wine. Yeah. You know, we've just been having a, a leisurely day <laughs> and she shows me like a butt pic of hers. Right. Because, nice. you know, she's getting back into the single world. Yeah. And I was like, give it to me. I was like, I need to mess with the warmth, the <laughs> the, the contrast. The low. I was like, you look pale here. I can oh, make no. you look like you're Brazilian. She was like, OK. <laughs> So around us, so I'm messing with the butt pic for yeah. like for like 15 minutes. Wait, while right? you're in this restaurant? Yeah, but like I'm at the edge. Okay. You know, like it's all close, but like it's like me to you, but like yeah. I'm at the edge. But what they'd done is they had like unraveled these like thick plastic kind of oh, no. curtains yeah. just to like shield the rain. Okay. You know? And so what I don't realize until about five minutes in, it Jacqueline goes, oh my God, I go, what? She goes, you're projecting it onto that. <laughs> that is a reflection. <laughs> A twice as big, bright Jacqueline butt behind me, in which I had added a gif of a Greek flag on it, like a Greek flagpole, like, I claim this butt. <laughs> and the Dutch women are laughing, and I'm like, we gotta get out of here. Have these Dutch women been watching you the whole time? The whole time. They're like, taking uh, two hours to eat four pieces of cheese just uh, to spy on us i was like we okay we had like, it coming what is the name of your podcast yeah, yeah. ma'am what's this like what it weird doing. in dutch yeah, exactly uh so anyway we made a break for it with the oh rain and went back and uh, slept like a baby but i mean insane absolutely insane <laughs> Absolutely makes total sense. Total uh, sense. That you're just on the, t- like, flirting with the edge of, like, an actual bad time happening. <laughs> we just kept walking down the street going, create and cultivate founder and yes. <laughs> former YouTube star Mamrie Hart arrested for indecent exposure at the Roman baths. That would be uh, so weird. So weird. So it was a <sighs> great time. I'm like, you know, Amazing. came back being like, just give me all the green juice and salad. And yes. now I'm like, Chip, do you want to make cacio e pepe tonight? Yeah. Like I'm oh, the living. Food so good. It was so good. And what I love <sighs> is like reckless abandon of like, 
um, on my last day yeah. i had pasta for lunch and then like at three o'clock we were like let's stop in for a pizza oh let's uh, split these two we'll never finish both ate a full pizza nice. and then three hours later went out for more pasta yeah it, you have to it's the it's best, the best. Yeah. it's the best so anyway Amazing. there is my roman bath story i feel like oh, this might be the it might yeah you really i mean i told you i wanted to hear it so bad I was like, this is an insane premise, but an absolutely believable premise. And I got to hear how this goes. <laughs> I mean, wow. who knew Europe got so prude? <laughs> you guys came in and really left your mark. Right. Don't say Roman baths over. and you have to wear swimsuits. Huh. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, well, I can't wait to hear how your week. <laughs> no, thank God. I really didn't do jack shit. The Good. only piece of information I had, my brother told me, oh. uh, an update for anyone wondering about the insectarium in Philly. Remember that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Our audience yeah. just screamed. Finally. What? What? Ears up. Here we this go. This is what I'm here for. Here we go. 40 <laughs> minutes in. Uh, I waited through that story. <laughs> no, it's quick, but this made me laugh. Is that documentary months ago that I was talking about Bug Out. Yeah, you loved like, it. Loved it. The, the directors like emailed us yes. because we talked about it. <laughs> and uh, the follow up is that the Insectarium got... Um, it's closed down and yeah. uh, they owed it to it, the people got evicted <gasps> because they owed um, a lot of a lot of money uh, for the mortgage oh, no. uh, debt close to a million dollars. <gasps> but what happened was the last day it was open was May 27th. Um, and then that evening, the f uh, staff had a party like oh, it's God. all done. Like, here we go. Are like, the insects put up? Insects are gone. Okay. I, 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 well, actually, I don't know that for sure. The next day, the sheriff arrived with like a lawyer <gasps> and the insectarium had been totally destroyed. Stop it. From the party? From the party. The quote from this article is, they broke every urinal in the place. <gasps> they busted every toilet in the place. It smelled of feces and urine. Every window and every mirror was shattered and there was trash everywhere. They decided to basically say, screw you, and they moved out. This is the most Philly story I could <laughs> They said, you're not going to let us have our bugs. We're we, going to trash this place. You won't. Uh, you take our bugs. We're going to smear feces everywhere. Oh, my God. Yeah, That's so an insurrection. It is quite a story. It's the story that keeps on going. So wow. for anyone that was left hanging in the documentary, <laughs> there you go. Tim is also finally some closure. Yeah, Tim's just been keeping me up to date on the insectarium. So important uh, information out there, guys. Oh my word! Oh, and sorry, Philly, to the I ninety five. Have you heard this highway thing that's going on no. over there? The highway that goes from uh, Miami to Maine. Oh yeah, it goes through North Carolina. Yeah, outside of Philly, uh, collapsed because oh my god. Yeah, so it's like insane stuff going on on the East Coast right Jesus now. Jesus Christ! You I'm gonna go to back to Italy. Yeah, close the curtains. Oh my God! <laughs> so those are Ooh. just my updates <laughs> really i mean this this bleak weather i think has gotten to me it's got, i mean grace says let's end it with a collapse <laughs> here we go guys oh no here is just one little fun little tidbit that i thought was good was yeah. that this is the second time i've been to italy the first time was i believe 2005 mm -hmm. when i got there and it was when trump had like won the election remember when i landed 2005 2015, I mean, oh, 2015. Yeah. Landed in 2015. So, like, the whole trip was kind oh, of tainted yeah. because we were like, everyone's out in the streets in yep. LA, and like, uh, Trump got elected. This is yeah. the end of everything. The day I'm leaving Italy on my second trip, Trump gets arrested. Whoa. So, just some real, like, Italy wow. gives me some big Trump headlines. Yeah, wow. Italy has really um, created quite a story for you. Oh, <laughs> I gotta go back. I gotta go back. <laughs> anyway, Woo. this got weird. Uh huh.